Hi, I'm Jake McAlpine with the Energy Conservatory, and I'm here with the Minneapolis Blower Door System, and I'll show you how to set it up and conduct a blower door test. Now we're going to place our outside reference tube. So this house has an unconditioned attached porch. So we need to make sure we're referencing the full pressure outside. What we're going to do is use a wind tee to get more stable wind readings and make sure we go to the leeward side of the building and have this placed low and next to the foundation. The gauge right now is set to display flow at 50 pascals, but it can also be set to show air changes per hour. And you do that by entering air changes and then going to the settings button and entering the volume of the building. Depending on where you are in the country, the attic hatch may either be closed or opened. In northern climates where you typically have unconditioned attics, we'll keep it closed. In some southern climates where the insulation and the air barrier is on the outside of the roof deck, you'll actually want to keep this open. So you want to make sure that no combustion appliances turn on during your test. So for water heaters, we'll turn them to the pilot position. And for a heating plant, we can either shut them off here at the switch or you can use the thermostat upstairs to ensure that they don't turn on. Next, we're gonna capture the baseline by hitting the baseline button. You'll see channel A will start to record the outside pressure and channel B flips to a timer. On a calm day, you could wait for perhaps 10 or 20 seconds. On a windier day, you want, might wanna wait up to a minute. When you're satisfied with your baseline, hit the enter button and you'll see that the gauge will now display the adjusted baseline pressure and we're ready to start our test. Now we're gonna select ring A 